everyone, um, another quick video today, um, a mixed media plaque, I'm going to be doing a plaque, I've already given it a coat of gesso and I'm going to be using um, green and gold and I've got this nice flourish from Imagination Crafts and I've got found this lovely little frame and I've got a um, picture which was on um, a piece of rice paper so I just put it in there so that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to be calling it Dreamer of Dreams so we're going to turn you to overhead and make a start okay so I'm going to be using this um, sage green fabric paint and I just really like this colour and I'm going to be using um, distress blending tool just going to just pat it on I'm not because I want a bit of texture and this is a quick and easy way to get texture and if I just lift it up you'll just be able to see and uh, so I'm going to be doing this um, I really like this colour sage green Green wasn't a, a colour that I, I, I liked when I was younger, but as I've got older, it's become one of my favourite colours. And it goes on really nice. I think by doing like, if, if I did it like that, it'd go quite pale. If I just lift this up so you can see, it goes quite pale. But by doing this, it's, uh, I get better coverage with it. So, I um, don't want to put my fingers all over it either. And it goes uh, quite a way. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually, I'm going to now. going to give that a quick blast with the heat gun, flip it over and do the other side. So I'm going to do it exactly the same with this, the back side, or the reverse, whatever, however you want to call it. It's quite uh, therapeutic, just pouncy. <laughs> Like you want to pounce on somebody's head. A little bit more. There we go, so I'm going to just pop that to one side and let it dry and I'm going to bring my little frame in and this is a, um, gosh what do you call it, I can't remember the name of the material of this, so I've got this flourish and I'm going to be using Rich Gold Starlight Paint, again these are from Imagination Crafts and I'm going to, oh, that wasn't clever. Right, just leave that there. So, I want to put a little bit of that onto there, like that. Where are my stencil brushes? Oh, my stencil brush. Right, okay. So I've got the stencil brush, and I'm just going to, 
stencil the flourish. This is going to be just a quick simple project today. There we go. You can see the sparkle. So that's that done. And I'm going to do exactly the same to the frame. There we go. So that's done. I'll just balance that. Leave that, put that out the way. And I'll be back in a couple of minutes just to, uh, once I've cleaned up my mess. Okay, so I'm going to give that a quick blast with the heat gun just to make sure it's dry. Before I start and do stuff and I'm going to oh, where's my glue gun? Oh there it is. I must not have glue gun for a while. There we go. Okay, so next thing I want to do um is that dry? Oh no, that's not dry. I think my gun's on the way out. Right, there we are. That's dry. So, I've got the Starlight Alchemy Wax in black. And I'm going to add some flourishes. Just here and there. I'm just going to stick it through. For a bit, for a minute. That to one side, and I'm just going to heat this up. While that finishes drying, I'm going to give this a quick blast with the heat gun. my glossy accents And that's the picture in the frame and um, I'm going to add that there with the flourish here or do it do it? no I'd do it the other way I think do the flourish there like that 
little flourish like that and then I'm going to add Dreamer of Dreams along the bottom there like that so all I need to do is just pop this on I'm using my glue gun Well, just go around the outside with this. Pop that there like that. So that's that. And all I've got to do now, I'm going to just quickly blast this so to get rid of the excess glue gun, uh, the glue from the glue gun. There we go. So that's all stuck. Now all I'm going to do now is. <coughs> Take some of this out and I'm just going to go around the edge. going to leave that and I'll be back in two minutes to um, finish off okay so I've finished it off it's all nice and dry and I've added some ribbon just to, for, to hang it up with and I think it looks a little bit bare so I found some green flowers so I thought if I put that one there and then have a couple just going round just just to finish it off I think um, maybe put one in the corner there put a rose in the corner there and put that one there and maybe add I don't know I know that definitely needs something there but I thought just add a little rose there and uh, not sure whether I do to do that or that. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll just stick with them too. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Just so it's not so plain. Just needs a bit more, I think, than no flowers don't you think i think it just needs a little bit just a teeny tiny bit maybe i might i might just add a little rosebud let's see let's see if i take that off maybe just have that tucked under there like that yeah we'll see so we're definitely putting this one in the corner and that will go there like that 
and this one's definitely going in this here unless I put the rosebud up there let's see if I can take another layer off of this flower and just have that tucked under there yeah I think so Yeah, I think I'll just wedge that in there like that. There we go. There we go. So, I've still kept with the greens, but I've done different shades. So, that's this project done. Um, I hope you've enjoyed. I know it was quick and simple. But uh, sometimes you don't need a lot to, to make a, um, a nice project. Um, I really liked the colour on this, especially the jade and the sparkle, which just if I tilt it, you can just see the sparkle. So thank you very much for watching today. I hope you've enjoyed. Please give it a like, share with your friends, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And until next time, happy crafting. Bye-bye, everyone.